Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is <coughs> Sunday, May 29th, and um, I had a little mishap last night. So, as you all know, um, I've been eating whatever I want, and last night I was eating some like really toasted sourdough bread, and I went to bite into the crust, and it was thick. And I was trying to chew on this side because my jaw is still like, you know, can't open very good. And I felt a crack. And I had to lose a tooth. I felt a crack. I emailed um, Dr. Whitaker. And I... Um, was able to get in there today in the morning and have her fix it, thank God. Cause I could feel that like if I, if I, it cracked only on the inside, like right here. And that was because they had moved my embutment. So originally one of my embutments came out the side of the tooth that was back here. So they, they switched it. So they filled up that area and then they drilled another hole to put a hole for the embutment. So it made that part of it, I guess, weak. And um, I've been doing pretty good with that for, you know, a month or two. Eating ice, eating whatever I wanted. And then, you know, the sourdough. Sourdough wasn't having it, so it cracked. So I had to lose that one back tooth because she couldn't repair it. The lab wasn't there. No one was there. It was just her. So she just broke off that last tooth, um, like rounded it out so it wasn't sharp. And that was it. Um, I should be getting my second set June 7th. That's my next appointment date. So it's not too far that I have to be without a back tooth. Um, she tried to put my jaw back in place, but it didn't work out. So on the 7th, they're going to take both top and bottom out. And she's going to try to like reset my jaw, like do some crazy stuff to reset it. Um... That's not gonna be an issue for like anyone else, I don't think. I think it's just me and my problem childness. Like, I don't know. Um, what else? These are still nice. I still like these, but I think I think I'm gonna like the next set, and I think you guys are gonna like the next set. Um, also, I found out that there's like a rewards program. So, those of you who chose Clear Choice because you saw my videos if you could please email me um just your first and last name and what city the clear choice that you're going to is in um that could help me out i mean i'm not trying to like get rich off of this or like keep my opinion i'm gonna keep my same realness i'm gonna tell you when shit goes wrong i'm gonna tell you all of that but i mean if i'm sending them a bunch of people you know, they're making good money off of me sending them people. So, I don't know. Is that wrong? I don't know. I don't think it's wrong. I think that it could help me out a little bit, you know? So, I don't know. Anyways, um, and then you can do that too. So, like, if you say that I sent you, when you're done and you're having your experience, you could tell people and have them say that they sent you. So, there is a rewards program, I guess. Dr. Whitaker didn't really know too much about it, but she's going to ask for me because um, I know that a couple of you guys have gone to Clear Choice because of me or like made the appointment, took the leap to go. And some of you have already had surgery and some of you have not. So if you could just email me, um, I'll put my email, email in the description. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, everything else is good. I'm still able to eat. You know, I've had a lot of new people ask me um how my pain was and all of that and like I said in the beginning I didn't have any pain you're still super numb I didn't have any pain ever like in the actual like gums or teeth none it wasn't pain but the swelling is what was so uncomfortable and if you're about to have surgery stock up on ice packs i'll show you the ones that i had my husband buy me um they give you these cool little ice packs they'll give you like two sets so there's four um and it has like a little and it's 
stays on. And then I bought um, these. I don't know. I think I got them from Walmart. And what I did is I cut them. It comes in a big sheet. I cut them and then I would fold it like this. I don't know why that's happening. I would fold them like this. And I think I cut some into twos, maybe. No, I cut them into threes. So I would just fold them and put them in that same little bandage that they give you that Velcros. And it helps so much. And I, I bought a lot. I had these. I'll show you some other ones that I had, I think. I still have them. I use this because the swelling up here started hurting me. Not hurting, again, just discomfort. It was never like unbearable. Frozen berries help a lot. Um, so just buy a whole lot of ice packs. I think I bought, oh. I actually still have the ones that they give you. Let me show you those. And then I'll show you this one, because this one can be used hot or cold. So eventually the cold, um, whoa, whoa. Eventually the cold wasn't working anymore and heat helped. So then I used the heating pad. When, I think I was like two weeks post-op when I posted a video and I was saying I had like pain in my jaw. I had pain in my chin, like down here in my bone. And I guess that's because your bottom jaw has a lot of nerve endings. So I bought this. And what I would do is, it's really frozen. I would bend it like this. And then, <laughs> I would attach it. And I would sleep like this. That really helped. And this can be used hot or cold. So when it started, when warm started feeling better, and it looks like this. When warm, I got this at like Rite Aid, I think, or Walgreens. When warm started feeling better, you can take this and you can put it in boiling water and it gets warm and it stays warm. So these are what they're good, let's see, these are the two that we did cut. So they're gonna give you this thing. It's on this. These are the original ice packs that, at least, I don't know, their choice is gonna give you. And they get like slushy like, they're like this. They've been in my freezer for too long so they're like not slushy like. Usually they're not so stiff. And then you're gonna, if you look back to my first couple of videos, this is my best friend. And I would just switch them out. Switch them out and then I cut these so they would fit and I would switch these out. So just get a lot of ice packs. You know, you can never have too many with this procedure. I think that that's more important than anything else, honestly, is ice packs. And then, um, as far as eating, get soups. I bought a lot of soups. I made a lot of soups, um, like prior to having surgery. Yogurt, Jello. what else? Rice, even though rice kind of, kind of feels funny because you feel like you should chew it, but you don't. Um, arnica. If your doctor's not telling you to get Arnica, get it. It's an anti-inflammatory. I started taking it the day before surgery or the two days before surgery. I started taking it and I took it until I ran out of the bottle. The, the one I got was like dis dissolvable Arnica. And I think that that's why I didn't bruise. If you look back at my videos, I didn't really have a lot of bruising. I had very minimal bruising. You know, maybe I had a couple spots here or something, you know, but um, I didn't really have any bruising. And that went, that was better for me. Like I didn't want bruising. That's what I was afraid of. Cause I saw videos where girls had like, or ladies had like black eyes and like very black and blue. And they tell you, you can get that. It just depends on if you're a bleeder or not, or not a bleeder. 
I'm not a bleeder like that. Some people bleed down their throat and they, their neck and chest bruise. Um, that wasn't my case. So thank God for that. Um, yeah, if you have any specific questions also feel free. I mean, I'm going to put my email in the description for the whole referral program. But if you ever have any questions or anything, feel free to email me. Um, I'm always willing to help somebody. I know this is scary. I know it's terrifying the thoughts of what ifs, but like if you're gonna go with anyone, go with clear choice because like for, it's a lot of money, okay? But like a lot of places, you're gonna pay that amount of money and you're gonna get one temporary set and one permanent set and that's it. With clear choice, let's say I'm gonna go try on my new set on June 7th. If I don't like it, you know, I'm gonna try it out for a week or two. If I don't like it, we go back to the drawing board and they're gonna make me a whole new wax try-in set. They're gonna put me back in these bad boys because I like these. You know, and we're gonna do the whole process over and over again until I'm happy, you know? And that's the main thing is you should, if you're paying that amount of money, you should walk out of there happy. That's it. Like there's no if, ands, or buts about it. If I'm paying that amount of money, I could buy a house in Pennsylvania or in Alabama or wherever, you know, I can buy a brand new car with that amount of money, a luxury car for that amount of money. I wanna be satisfied. I wanna be 100% satisfied. I wanna like every single tooth in every way that it's shaped. I wanna like everything about it because, I mean, times are tough. Um, a lot of people ask me what, um, loan I applied for I applied for lending club because that's what they recommended and I also already had care credit so I asked for um, an increase in my credit because I think they only gave me like 7,000 originally when I did care credit um, so I asked for like uh, an increase and they gave it to me so we're paying payments the quick way oh, I have a lot of freckles um, they're, we're paying the quick way so we have the least amount of interest. And I think that's it. Yeah, so again, my opinion will never be swayed by whether there's a rewards program or not. Um, if they were shitty, I would say they were shitty and I would <laughs> I would talk up and down about how shitty were they were. But I really think that they're amazing. You know, I can't speak for every clear choice in the United States, but in Sino office, they're amazing. So, um, please, if you decided to get it, if you already got it, if you already have your surgery date and, and, um, you did it because you saw my videos, then please email me your first and last name and the location if you already signed your paperwork with Clear Choice and then you saw my videos, don't do it. Um, Cause I don't wanna like, I didn't refer you, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, let's try to be honest about that. And that's about it I think. I think I've rambled on for, oh, 13 minutes and 42 seconds. Um, I love you all. I hope you all have a blessed weekend. Stay safe on Memorial Day. Please do not drink and drive. Please stay safe. Um, I have like PTSD from every holiday because somebody that I know gets hurt or drinks and drives or gets hit by drunk drivers. So holidays are weird for me. So everybody, please stay safe. Um, God bless you all. And if you have surgery coming up, I'm so excited for you. It's literally... I literally took a picture the other day with my girlfriends and I was the only one smiling and I was like, I can't not smile. I cannot not smile because I love the way it looks and I could not, I can say that that never was the case for me before. So it's going to be so life changing. I'm so excited for you. All right. Have a good weekend. Bye.